Okay. Say hello, everybody. Maybe I'll put this in the YouTube video. Hi, I'm Josh Perry. Welcome to Beta Climbers. Today I'm going to show you a technique called rope soloing. I use this to put up first ascents or if I'm climbing by myself. All right, let's roll the intro. I'm just kidding, I don't have an intro. I just started YouTube last week. But I do have a warning. Warning, don't kill yourself. If you want to find out more about who I am, you check my Instagram right here. Okay, let's just get into it. Okay, so first things first is you need a rope. And I like, for this technique, I like to use a static rope. There's two types of ropes. There's a static rope, which doesn't really stretch at all. And there's a dynamic rope, which gives a lot of stretch. A dynamic rope is really good for lead climbing. When you fall, the rope stretches and you're, it's going to absorb a lot of the energy. A static line is good for this because I'm basically going to be ascending up the rope and I'm going to be using um, Jumars and things to climb up the rope. So maybe I'll explain more about that later. I can also probably do a whole other video on that. So the second thing is you need a nice tree. A nice healthy tree that's big enough so even if the damn thing did fall over, you won't be able to pull it off the, off the side of the cliff. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a figure eight around this anchor for this tree. You should know how to tie a figure eight by now. Now I'll do a whole video. I'll probably do like a my five favorite knots video and do a figure eight. Okay. There you go, enough tail. Okay, looks good. Now let's get over to the side of the cliff. When it comes to climbing, you're really only as good as your anchor. If you ain't got a good anchor, you ain't got anything. Now we're here by the edge. It's pretty windy today. Whenever you're near the edge, you always want to be tied in. A lot of climbers have lost their lives before because they throw things off the edge and sometimes whatever you throw off the edge sticks to your hand and takes you off. So you don't want to be down there too quickly. So stay tied into your anchor when you get near the edge. You take your rope and you chuck it off. But usually before you chuck it off, you want to yell rope because someone might be down there and they don't want to catch a rope in the head. Just for good etiquette, you always want to yell rope before you chuck a rope off the end. So rope. Okay, yeah, well, that was a bad example, but you get my point. Now I'm switching to GoPro mode for the rappel. Here we go. Oh look, an inchworm. By the way, thanks for dropping in. If you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. Okay, now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty stuff. So the first way to do it is to simply just use your a grigri. And I have a special beaner here so that it doesn't really go sideways. It has a little gate right here. So it doesn't really go sideways and cross load or anything like that. So this is a really nice beaner to have when you're doing this technique. And you, can, you just climb this, with this grigri and it kind of looks something like this. You climb, you pull on the slack, you climb, you pull on the slack. If you're climbing where you think you're going to fall, it's nice to have a nice just simple overhand knot right in there. So I don't know, if something crazy happened, it would only, you'd only stop to here, to wherever your knot is. So if you get to a section where you think you're gonna fall, you just simply just tie a knot, you know, then you go do that section and you fall, you're probably not gonna go anywhere, especially since you're using a static line which doesn't stretch very much. So you're just gonna fall and then if the rope ever just slid through, you just fall right to your knot. Now I'm going to show you another device I, I use and why it's a little bit better than using this. So here's the second device I use. And it's basically a Jumar with a pulley in it. You see here, oh, let me open it up. Okay, so here's the inside workings of it. So basically the beaner goes through here, right? And it slides up the rope and here are the teeth. So it just kind of rides up the rope and catches on the teeth here. So that's why it's good to have a static line instead of a dynamic line. You really don't want these teeth to be 
putting a lot of force on the rope because they can really mess up the rope. You kind of just want these things to just kind of sit on the rope. It's probably not what this is meant for, but it works pretty well. And the reason it works better than a Grigri is because you're not pulling the rope up. You're not pulling the weight of the rope up. With Like with a Grigri, when you're climbing, you're also pulling the rope up with you, and then you have to feed the line through. This is simply just riding up the line. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention with this thing. It used to have a little knob in here. And it used to be able to, when you press this tab in, it used to lock this open. You have to, you'd have to press this and push this up, and then it would lock this open like this. I filed that off and modified this, so that can't happen. Because it freaked me out, and I had a feeling like one day I'd be climbing, I don't know what would happen, and this would just lock open like this. And then you'd be climbing, you wouldn't even know it's locked open. But I'll show you another way, that so that even if that did happen, I wouldn't die. Okay, so as you can see here, I have this Traxion. It's engaged here. Now let's say for some reason, it got disengaged, or something crazy happened, it exploded. I don't know what, it melted, who knows, okay? Something crazy happens, all right? This gets disengaged. What I'll have is I'll have two carabiners with opposing gates right here and on my other locker and it'll fall down and it'll hit this knot so that way this is a backup to this which is my knot so if I ever got to a hard section or something it freaked me out I tie a knot in the rope and if I fell I fall right to this and that's just backing this up here now a fall on this would kind of look something like this falling that's about it I'm not falling on this device in any kind of crazy forceful way uh, it's always it's always there's no well, there's not a lot of slack on the rope and I'm just kind of falling on it so that's about it and if that ever decided to explode I'd hit this knot and wouldn't hit the deck yeah so I'm gonna try to get the drone out here and just put the controller down let the thing just try to sit in one spot and record me climbing with this device and as well as the Grigri just so you can see a comparison it's gonna be scary as hell there's also vultures here that's probably they probably want to make babies with my drone while it's flying in the air so this will get a little bit risky but what the hell that's what this is about right Okay, here's the first example. I'm using the Grigri as my safety device. And I'm gonna be going over this overhang right here. And you'll notice I got some slack and I'll pull it in. Now with the Grigri, a con is that you're always feeling the weight of the rope because you're climbing and the rope's pulling down on you and you need to pull the slack in through. So, oh, I'm gonna be, uh, by the way, I'm gonna be turning around a lot looking at the drone because I'm worried about it vulture swooping in and having fun with it. Birds and drones really don't mix. That's one thing that if you don't own a drone and you, you wouldn't know, but if you own a drone you know that birds have fascinations with drones. So here I'm climbing and pulling in the slack, making sure my drone's still there. It's freaking me out. It's a windy day and uh, my controller's just sitting on the ledge, so I'm kind of freaked out about that, man. Anyway, that's what's on the back of my mind. So climbing up, and pulling the slack. Now, a good thing, a really nice thing about the Grigri is because it's just a repel device, I could just simply just repel back down and do a section again if I wanted to just do a section. I'll talk more about that when I'm using the Trax Traxion, yeah. So, uh, yeah, right here I'm just gonna repel back down and I'll switch over to the Traxion and show you what that's like. Okay, so here's the second example using the Traxion. Now, it's not the best example because I still have to fiddle with the rope and you're gonna see me do that right here and that's because the rope's not weighted once you're up higher there's more weight on the rope and it kind of just slides through or a second option is if you have a bag or like my camera bag i have there which is what i did later is i tie that to the rope and then the rope's always weighted and then you can just focus on your climbing and focus on the birds and the weather and you don't even have to worry about the rope you're just sliding right up it now a con to this is let's say you want to go back down 
and you wanted to repeat a, uh, repeat a section that you liked, well, now you have to switch over to your repel device to go back down, which with the Grigri, you're already on a repel, repel device, so you just go back and do it. So if you're just doing something that you want to repeat a bunch of times, it's probably better just to use the Grigri. But uh, if you're just gun ho want to start from the bottom to the top, day out in the cliff by yourself, then this is probably a better option. I enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah, if you ever get to something like where it's freaky, like right here, it'd probably be nice to just tie a knot and then... Uh, and then I don't have to worry about falling and hitting any ledges down there. So, so now I'm like, oh wait, I want to go back down. But hi everybody, now I want to go back down. But uh, I need to switch over to my Grigri. Also, when you're doing this, you're going to want a Jumar setup uh, or Jumar system because if you're just coming down, just exploring the cliff, you're going to want a way out. So bring your Jumar system, and if you get to something that you uh, don't want to be on, you want to get the hell out of there. Then you can just escape that way. I'll probably be doing some uh, Jumar technique tutorials later. Um, what else? Oh, the rope. Uh, since it's just a fixed line, the same rope is touching the same piece of rock, and it's not the rope's not going up and down, but the rope is going back and forth over the same piece of rock. So you really want to be mindful of that and not have your rope going over something sharp, because that's a good way to get your rope cut and you plummeting to your death. So. Uh, be mindful of that. So if you like this video, like and subscribe and I'll make more videos like it. Um, it's pretty nerve wracking flying that drone. I thought a vulture was going to swoop in and make babies with it. And then trying to land it was even more terrifying. Here's like a little clip of that. I hope you had fun. I'm gonna go climb now. And get to the top. See you guys at the top. Subscribe for more! Subscribe for more. And like and comment.